Hello, my name is Hannah Cooper and this is my airway skills video. I filmed this on the 30th of September and the skills included are triple airway maneuver, laryngoscopy, uh, NPA insertion, OPA insertion, positive pressure ventilation and stable side position. I'm now going to demonstrate rolling an unconscious patient into the stable side position. Um, first you've got to check all the patient's pockets, making sure that there's no dangerous objects or sharks. This is a common error when preparing to do the stable side position. Then you put the arm nearest to you up high on the patient's chest, move the arm furthest away out in the straight position, bend the nearest knee into a 90 degree angle, then you take the patient by the shoulder and the hip and roll them gently over and move the knee out to another 90 degree angle so they don't roll all the way over to the front. Stretch this arm out to hold them stable and extend the head to allow breathing and drainage of fluids and check that they're breathing and make sure they're stable. I'm now going to demonstrate the triple airway maneuver. First, you need to put padding under the patient's head to put their airway into a neutral position. This needs to be done for all airway maneuvers. Um, you need to hold the head steady with one thumb pointing down towards the forehead. Take the chin between your thumb and index finger and pull forward slightly to open the mouth slightly. Uh, the tragus should be in line with the chest. Um, and then to do the jaw thrust, you have your fifth, fourth and third fingers on the edge of the mandible and your index finger on the thumb with your thumbs on the zygomas and gently thrust the jaw forward. Uh, I will now demonstrate how to perform a laryngoscopy to inspect the patient's upper airway. First, you need to support the patient's head with a soft thing like a towel or a pillow. Put their head into the sniffing position. Then you need to check that the fold is working and well attached to the laryngoscope. It is. Then you need to hold the patient's head steady with one hand on the forehead. Put the laryngoscope hard down the right side of the patient's mouth and sweep the tongue out of the way. Slide the laryngoscope into the molecular groove to inspect the vocal cords and see if there are any obstructions. And use suction if required. And then gently withdraw the laryngoscope. And that's the patient's upper airways checked. I'm now going to demonstrate the insertion of a nasopharyngeal airway. This is indicated when the patient is unconscious and has trismus. Their head needs to be supported like before with something soft like a towel or a pillow. And contraindications include middle third facial fractures or significant nasal damage or traumatic brain injury. First, you need to measure the NPA from the nostril to the earlobe to make sure it's the right side. Then you need to loop it up and pick the largest nostril, putting the, pulling the top of the nose towards you. Pick the largest nostril and gently wiggle the NPA in there. And if you come across any obstructions, then don't try and push it too hard because you might cause damage to the patient. I'm now going to demonstrate inserting an OPA or oropharyngeal airway. The patient should be in a supine position with their head supported. Um, you need to measure the OPA from the corner of the patient's mouth to the angle of the jaw. Calling the state, you need an OPA that's too big or too small, which can either occlude the airway or be ineffective. First, you need to insert the OPA upside down and rotate it around. Push it down. The flange should not be squeezing the patient's lip too tightly between the flange and the teeth. A contraindication for an OPA is if the patient is in trismus or has an, a working gag reflex. Now for positive pressure ventilation, the patient should be in the sniffing position already with an OPA inserted. First you need to apply the mask over the patient's nose and mouth, ensuring you have a tight seal so that not too much air escapes. Then you need to ventilate the patient, squeezing the bag at a rate of 12 to 16 breaths per minute with 10 mils of oxygen of air per kilo.
a common mistake when ventilating a patient is squeezing too hard and hyperventilating them, which could damage their alveoli.